I was I was a bastard. Did I deserve a 50 year sentence? Um, yeah, I think so. I was guilty. I had killed a guy that changed my whole life. One moment I was a law abiding person who had never had a parking ticket or done anything wrong at all. The next moment, a man was dead. Hi everybody, my name is Shirley Renee Williams. I am a director, I am a producer. I worked on the Emmy nominated film, Intent to Destroy. Uh, but the project that I am most excited about and why we are here is my full length documentary film, A Break in Belonging, about Pastor Martin Thomas, who served 23 years in prison for murder. It was right that I was there. I was, I was meant to be there. If it had been possible for me to be there without the circumstances that I got there, um, that is an assignment I believe I could volunteer for. I could volunteer for that. And um, I, I'm so sorry. I really am. I'm so, so, so very, very sorry about how I got there. Um, I uh, even, even today, I hate it. I do. I hate that it happened. And like everyone else, right? I wanted to know what happened. I never explained to them what happened. I never talked to the judge or the prosecutor or my attorney at all about what happened that day. But I was even more intrigued by the phenomenal work that he's doing to keep men out of prison. The, the answer for me lies in what you then do to try and help others to pull the pieces of their lives back together by helping others to stop making the mistakes that they make. And um, which will make the world safer. I met Martin three years ago, and I absolutely fell in love with his family. I fell in love with his story. And so I teamed up with production executive Alan Sobers, and we got to work. And as I got to know Martin, uh, I found that this was much more than a story about this mysterious murder. Martin, at the time of his crime, his five sons were signed to Arista Records. They had been signed by Clive Davis. They had huge dreams, but unfortunately, as a result of Martin's crime, they lost their chance. And sadly, they lost their father. It crushed them. It is a story that explores the impact of parental incarceration, of generational secrets, and also it really highlights what formerly incarcerated people go through as they re-enter society post-release. It's a story of love, of hope, of trust, of forgiveness, of redemption. And one of my biggest goals in telling this story through Martin's perspective is to humanize formerly incarcerated people and to show them as being people deserving of second chances. Our Kickstarter campaign launches us into production, but taking us above our goal will get us across the finish line and complete this film. So grab a reward and join the team.